Hi Scorpio, welcome to your March general reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Scorpio, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. It could be general, it could be love, it could be anything. Just going to take it as it comes. So let's see what's going on with you. Welcome in everyone. Hope you're all doing well. So please only take what resonates. Uh, don't try to make it fit. If it's not fitting for you, then it's probably not your reading. Hold out for future readings or you can watch past readings. It could be past, present, or future kind of energy also. So let's see what is going on with you, Scorpio, at this time. I do say at this time, I do consider all my um, readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links below in the description box for your love and general playlist, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip or donate, send a gift. All that information is below, as well as pinned to the top comment. And if you also would like to tip or donate, but you don't feel comfortable using PayPal during the premiere, if you watch this during the premiere, um, pay, uh, Super Chat is open, so you can also tip or donate uh, using that method also. So if you do, thank you. So Scorpio, let's see what is going on with you at this time. This is Zodiac Oracle. We get a sign, element, or planet. See what comes out. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally, totally fine. So what do we have for, okay, let's see what we have. Mercury. So it's a Gemini. So you could be dealing with a Gemini some way, shape, or form. Have it in your chart. Uh, it could be your Mercury. Maybe your Mercury sign is Gemini. Um, but, you know, Mercury is all about the mind. It's about communication. It's about truth and clarity, ideas, thoughts, um, and all that kind of energy. Everything to do with the mind and communication. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. So Scorpio, let's see. So the first thing I'm going to do here, Scorpio, <clears throat> is get an opening message for you with this deck. And then we'll get one card for your energy. And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look at the situation, whatever comes out here, advice for the situation, possible outcome. And then we'll get some bonus messages at the end with that Oracle deck over there. So let's see what's going on for you, Scorpio. Let's get your opening message for Scorpio Spirit, please. What is Scorpio's opening message at this time? Thank you so much for Scorpio, please. Thank you so much. Okay, let's take that one. Oh, we have one ring circus. What's going on? We have 15, which is six. And six is, a, to me, is always a healing, balancing card. You have a lot going out on right now where you feel like your life is a one ring circus and maybe you need to bring balance into your life. And maybe that's communication saying, you know, stop this one ring circus. <laughs> stop. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see. Uh, I just want to read a little bit there. Maybe there's a message for you, Scorpio. You are capable and competent. Independence is key now as you step into your journey today. Others may not have the vision or resources that you need. Recognize that all the wisdom you've Acquired along the way makes you particularly competent, capable of moving forward with assistance. Self-reliance is important. Another aspect to consider is creating and maintaining clear boundaries between you and another. Be discerning about your partnerships at this time. When you know who you are and have healthy sense of where you end and others begin, you are able to enter into the best kind of relationships and will attract people who mirror, mirror back your wholeness. Interdependent relationships are always mutually supportive, stimulating, and transformative. You can achieve anything at this time. So, so what I guess that's just you being capable and uh, able and confident on your own and leading your own one ring circus, I guess. Huh, okay. All right, so I feel like you're on a solo journey here. Like you can lead your life, you can do it in being very independent, <clears throat> being like in control of your destiny. First, I thought maybe, you know, your life was kind of, so we got follow the leader here, which is 40, which is about stability, foundation, follow the leader. So maybe you are a leader, you know, and maybe you communicate, you, you could be, um, Ah, uh, 
maybe you talk for a living or something like that. Um, you could be like a spiritual leader. You could be a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a Tony Robbins kind of person. All right, so let's see what Follow the Leader has to say. That's pretty uh, self-explanatory, but every life is a teaching tool for others. Your authenticity and honesty are an example to those around you, and that is the Mercury energy. You're being called to lead others by example. Your wisdom has been earned as a result of your bravery and the adventure of your life, the experiences of Battles won and lost, places discovered, tears shed, and joy revealed have placed you in a unique position to be of service to others. Your suffering has been crystallized into a talisman, talisman of wisdom. Now you must share it by using, by being fully authentic, you'll lead others into the light. You'll be required to divulge some things about your past so that you may help someone else. Lead with love. There is not, another message here as well. Look to those whose great character and accomplishments you admire. And I had mentioned Tony Robbins, but it doesn't have to be. It could be anybody. Emulate the leaders you respect. You will lean. You will then, in turn, have more to offer. So some of you are being called to be a leader here. <clears throat> May have to do about public speaking or speaking on, on some kind of platform or something like that. So let's see what's on the bottom here intention so this has been coming out a lot 22 so you know setting your intention putting it out into the universe and letting universe do its magic so setting your intention to be leader of your domain leader of your life leader that you want to be and it may have to be with communication skills and being a leader wow all right being a leader, are we Scorpio in some way, shape, or form on some sort some sort of platform? It could be here on YouTube, it could be social media, it could be public speaking, it could be uh, being a mentor, it could be anything. All right, so let's even being a sponsor. Let's see here of some kind. Let's see here for you, Scorpio. What is this energy? Okay. So we have death here. So that's your energy, Scorpio, coming right out, flying right out of my deck. So transforming out of something, transforming out of something, transforming into a leader. Transforming into a leader, are we? Setting that intention. And there's a communication. Could be traveling, um, taking action here. Communication, that is all about fiery, passionate, community, transforming into a leader, to very fi being very fiery, passionate, whatever you're doing here. Wow. Taking quick action, being that leader, because you see they're following the leader, which is the stair here. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. So let's get more energy for you, Scorpio. The Queen of Mirrors. So there you are coming out again. Wow. Right on death. So <laughs> Queen of Mirrors is water. Cancer Scorpio Pisces on the Scorpio card. Two of Spirals here. So, you know, making plans, decisions for the future. Might have felt like you were at a crossroads. And we have this path here. So you might have been at a crossroads at one time. But I feel like now you've made your plans and decisions. And you've picked a path to go down. And that is being the leader that you want to be. Right now we got the three. We got the two and the three of wands here with the spirals. So, <coughs> and we got the eight of wands. A lot of fire. So feeling very fiery, passionate about this. Three of spirals. So, might have been some, you know, being patient, waiting involved. So now we have the tower. So I feel like I'm not getting this as like a disruption or anything like that. I'm getting it as more as like an epiphany, like divine intervention, epiphany, aha moment, like boom, you just get it. Okay, this is my purpose. This is what I'm going to do. I'm setting my intentions out. I'm going to be the leader that I want to be. Wow. Okay. So you set that intention with so the two of spirals. You chose that path. 
now it's just like waiting, you know, certain steps you need to take, taking two, three, taking those steps, but then we have the eight there. So you skipped over like five steps. <laughs> so, all right, so, all right, so let's see what your actual situation is here for you, Scorpio. Ten of Scrolls, Ten of Swords. So, I mean, we did have the death there. So something, I mean, could have come to an end. I mean, you could have went through something very hurtful and painful in your life that you totally healed and transformed out of. And now maybe you're becoming a leader, an advocate, a speaker, or of some kind on whatever situation you went through. Or like I said, a sponsor or or something it could be even just a counselor or a therapist or like wanting to help other people because of whatever you've been through four spirals here so feeling very very stable and secure now whatever you ended and transformed out of now you're very you're very happy you have a happy home and family you're secure you're grounded stable you you rebuilt your structure. So, okay, I said you skipped some steps, but now we have the four. We have two, three, four. Wow. So we're not done yet. So let's see what else here. So we have the lovers. So again, I said happy home and family. So again, lovers, you know. <clears throat> so you definitely do have a happy home and family. Married, probably committed, married or whatever to a soulmate. Lovers is about decisions and choices, so making decisions and choices to do what you actually want to do, that you would you love to do, what is your like aligned with you and your soul mission and your soul purpose. King and Queen of Mirrors here. So definitely could be married to a soulmate, with a soulmate, maybe helping you on this journey, supporting you. You see this man looking at this woman like in awe. So they may be in awe of you. Your person may be in awe of you that you transformed out of whatever you came out of in the past that was uh, very hurtful, painful, and transformed into this like leader. Wow. Okay, so what else do we have here? The Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work into your future here, working on this lot of dedication and effort and work moving forward, doing what you have to do, learning what you have to learn. If you had to go back to school or you had to do whatever here to be this leader that you want to be. All right. So let's see, let's see, um, Scorpio, let's get advice for you, Scorpio, advice for you, Scorpio, the high priestess. So listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, intuitively knowing this is the right path for you. You know, maybe not saying much about it, keeping it to yourself as you seek, not secretly, but just kind of doing your thing here, going on this journey. This, that's your advice. Listen to your gut, your intuition, knowing this is the right path for you. You could be very intuitive. Some of you could be in the spiritual field also. All right, so let's see what else for your advice here. The emperor, emperor, empress, doesn't matter. <clears throat> Again, taking control like we had here. One running circus, being in control, being the leader, taking charge. The emperor or the empress is a leader. Is a leader. They take control, they take charge. So being that leader coming out here, emperor, empress, doesn't matter. Six of spirals, so there's your success, your victory, accomplishment, accolades. The sign right there. Or that could be the moon, but it kind of looks like the sun to me. But all right, so let's get one more for your advice. So this is follow your intuition, be that leader you want to be, because you will be successful. That's your advice so far. <clears throat> so let's get one more for you, Scorpio. Now we have the King of Stones, King or Queen doesn't matter. So being very stable, secure, and grounded. Um, being, you know, smart, practical, analytical, good in finances, managing everything, you know, you could be managing your finances, you could be managing, <coughs> you know, your stability, 
being very, uh, being the king of stones. And I know that sometimes they say the king or queen of wands is like the emperor or the empress. But to me, the pentacles also is that emperor empress energy of maybe owning your own business or, you know, <clears throat> being a high ranking boss or something like that. So definitely uh, being very stable here. King of Pentacles. Again, could be that going back to school and graduating and now being, you know, like a scholar or something like that. All right, so let's see what your outcome is for you, Scorpio. The Magician. So you're, you're manifesting this for yourself, this brand new beginning. Definitely here. Manifesting. So page of wands, page of spirals. So that's good news. Fiery, passionate energy, messages, communication, offers. So you're manifesting a new beginning. And there is good news to come. There's uh, good things to come. Coming in, going out, either way. Communication. And there's your ace of stones. Wow. There's your divinely guide a brand new beginning and there's the sun coming up again for your success your victory stable grounded prosperous long term never have never having to worry being that leader that you want to be will be the key to your lifelong uh, stability and prosperity wow wow scorpio okay so let's see what's on the bottom page of scrolls so going on a journey here this always reminds me of the journey card but this is, um, you know, the page of um, swords. So I just feel like, you know, you're going on a journey. You're manifesting this. You're becoming that leader that you want to be. And you've been on quite a journey, I feel, especially with the Ten of Swords and the Death card here. And now you have truth. You have clarity. Open, honest communication. Cutting away things no longer serving you. Page of Scrolls also going on that journey of learning something new, maybe online or something to that effect. The devil. So yeah, you've overcome toxic energy, devil energy of the past. I felt that there. So whatever that was for you. Yeah, that left you, you know, in fear, nervous, scared, anxiety, worry. Maybe not sleeping at night over that toxic energy. But, you know, you kept fighting on. You didn't get up, give up with the nine of ones. You know, it's a lot of hurt and pain here. The three of... Uh, swords but you got clarity here with the king of swords energy here so this is always reminds me king queen or the ace of divine energy divine intervention shedding light on top onto the matter here so you've gained clarity and there's that mer mercury energy coming in here so gaining clarity truth cutting away things no longer serving you um standing up for yourself not backing down kind of energy Though you didn't see the path clearly, what was going to happen with, you know, as you were transforming, going on this new journey. But again, now we have the Empress. So we have the Emperor and the Empress, again, being that leader you want to be. And you definitely could be, because we did have the uh, Four of Wands card, which to me is the Twin Flame card, the Lovers, Soulmate Twin Flame. So you definitely, Emperor Empress, could be married to your, or with your Soulmate Twin Flame. If not, you may have that coming in for, coming in for you in the future. Also, along with being this leader. So with the um, Empress here, we have Libra Taurus, we have Cancer Pisces, we have Libra Gemini Aquarius, let's see, we have Capricorn, Libra Gemini Aquarius, we have your energy with Scorpio, we have Aries, we have Cancer Scorpio Pisces, we have Gemini, see we have cancer scorpio pisces virgo taurus capricorn aries pisces leo sag aries Gem um gemini and virgo so those are the other signs that i see let's get some extra messages with you with, for this <laughs> for you with this deck Blech, i could talk so, Scorpio, 
I do like to say, I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, I am having a giveaway for reaching 10,000 subscribers. So if you're interested in that, check the description box below or the top comment on how to qualify and enter to win a tarot deck and a free 20 minute reading by me. But thank you to all my new subscribers. Those are tip donated, sent to gift, reached out for personal, personal reading. Thank you, thank you. And Scorpio, especially if you're new, you like my style and how I read, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Check out my channel. Um, you'll get two love, two general, a bonus per month. And hit the bell, you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. So let's get some dare to be happy. 26, which is 8. Again, which is about taking action, communication. So you're daring to be happy. You're going after your happiness here. Going after your happiness. After coming out of whatever toxic energy <clears throat> you've been in the past, now you're going to be happy. All right, I just have a big clump four on the floor. All right, let's see what we have here. So we have be patient. 21 which is three which is you know learning something new teamwork collaboration so be patient on this journey give it to god 61 and seven it's divinely guided spiritual energy so just know let the universe work its magic and lend a hand so you definitely want to lend a hand here 83 which is 11 which is two which is partnership unity but 11 is also being divinely led on into the right path um, and going on in the right direction. So lending a hand, you definitely want to lend a hand to others now and being a leader of some kind. So we do have stop here, 34, seven, seven in a very divinely guided spiritual number. So I feel like with stop, oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe that was you just finally putting a stop to this toxic energy of the past. You know, maybe you were with a shark or somebody very, you know, vin vindictive, you know, narcissist, negative energy, just ate up all your energy. I know whatever it was, <clears throat> whatever that was, energy was, it could have been a person, place, thing, job, I don't know, whatever here. Um, I think you'd finally put a stop to it. And now you're living out your life, you'll be living out your life purpose and being a leader of some kind here. Scorpio. Wow, Scorpio. Okay, so best of luck to you, Scorpio. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.